And we are in uh, 4B. And it says that, oh, visit me with your salvation. So now he's asking God to visit him with salvation. You know, saving us from what? From danger? Saving us from hell? Saving us from anything that's contrary to the will of God? So it visit me with your salvation and why? That I may see the benefit of your chosen ones. So just like the chosen ones had favor, they also had the benefits of being God's chosen one. And so he wants those same blessings. And he's saying that, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation. And so and that's going to cause him to rejoice in the gladness of, of, um, of God's nation also that I may galore with your inheritance or the people of your inheritance. And so just like uh, they had favor, they had the benefits. Um, he wants to rejoice like the nation. And also he wants to, you know, have that glory as a people of, of God's inheritance. And so let's move into our next stanza starting at line six. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. And so now he's going to uh, move it from this. Uh, he started off in line one, praising the Lord, giving thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. And then he talked about God's mighty acts who can utter that. Blessed are those who keep his justice. Uh, who does the righteous things. And then he's saying, asking God to remember him uh, with the favor he has toward his people and to visit him. And also he would have the benefits and also rejoice and, and glory and um, with the people of his inheritance. And now he's moving here and he's going back and saying, what we have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. And so what is that? Iniquity is a depth of sin, lawlessness, living outside or contrary to the law. And so a lot of times we, you know, you hear people, <laughs> they talk about, you know, oh, we're not under the law. We under grace. Of course we're under grace. But what did Jesus say about lawlessness? Law, the word lawlessness never changed. Remember, Jesus said himself that he did not come to what? Abolish the law. He came to fulfill the law. And so when you read this right here in Matthew 7, 21, it says, uh, 7, 21. Well, let's read this. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I would declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. You who practice lawlessness. This is Jesus saying it. So what is iniquity? That the psalm is talking about the depth of sin, lawlessness, living outside or contrary to the law. And so Jesus saying that you practice in what? Lawlessness. In and of ourselves, this flesh part can do nothing without Jesus. We have accepted Christ Jesus on the inside. And being that he's on the inside of us, then we're able to live for him. And we're able to do righteousness at all times because of him. Not making excuses for this. Because he gave us an, an out for the flesh. If you got to crucify the flesh daily. You have to walk in the spirit so you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Those are outs. 
And those are outs so that we don't have excuses for going contrary to the law and practicing iniquity. Oh. Okay. So he's saying that in oh, I'm about to go. So we have sinned with our father. So now he's taking on that. And then so now it, it sends us to Daniel 9.5. Daniel 9.5. So you can get that right quick. That says, we have sinned and committed iniquity. We have done wickedly and rebelled even by departing from your precepts and your judgments. All right, and so what are those precepts? Those, um, those responsibilities that he has appointed for his people. We have a responsibility to follow the word of God. <laughs> that's our responsibility. And so in here, uh, that's, uh, and D Daniel was interceding on behalf of the people at that time. All right. And so, I mean, it's so important. We cannot take the word of God for granted. We cannot continue to take on the sins of our fathers. All right. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. So what are we going to do with that? I'll see you in the next segment.